Shall I take you to the island? I shall. I shall. Step this way. All aboard. <laughs> it is. It is. But I know what I'm doing. I've been working this crossing my whole death. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> A trifling amount, I'm sure you'll agree. A payable in advance, of course. Do you have it? Found the little corpse-related book I seek yet? Have a look. Mind you, don't tear any pages now. You know what I'm looking for.
Your Highness, good to see you again. Of course. Told you I would, didn't I? Thing. I'll start hunting that down right away. Bot Capital. Good luck to you. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. It smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. It's not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. It's not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know?
Back again, eh? It's free. Fair travels, friend. Keeping it together, free. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. to talk about it. Your fish stinks of the void. What kind of rat would sell such filth? The kind that don't fancy starving, along with the rest of this town. It's all well and good for you, with your rations. We've got to take what we can get. Keep talking, Dwarf, and you'll end up eating sawdust from a cell floor. Ah. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Back for a return visit. Have at it. Got yourself situated. Together, free. I'm all right as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton. Who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Yep, yep. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. The 
smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. <laughs> Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Well, don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. Aye, if I don't come visit your ton. Who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Your fish stinks of the void. What kind of rat would sell such filth? The kind that don't fancy starving, along with the rest of this town. It's all well and good for you with your rations. We've got to take what we can get. Keep talking, Wolf, and you'll end up eating sawdust from a cell floor. Ah. over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Well, don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. There's a lot of coal for the junk you sell, then. Junk? Why, I offer nothing less than the wisdom of the ancients, and... Vapid fiction, along with a large helping of ham. Rubbish! Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Do anything that would protect against cold weather. I can turn aside fire. Cold. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Keeping it 
together, Bree. Buying or selling? Capital. Good luck to you. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Bishop Alexander was slain by Seegers. Alfred stood at large. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Well, don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Buying or selling? Capital. Good luck to you. In any mood to talk about it. Pack for a return, have at it. Got yourself situated. How are you holding up? Not in any mood to talk about it. Together, Bree. 
I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Keeping it together, Bree? I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Yep, yep. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Smells worse over here than a dozen. Back for a return boys. visit, are you? Have at it. Got yourself situated. Wouldn't you like to know? Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Yep, yep. Glad to see you well. Anything more? Keep talking, dwarf, and you'll end up eating sawdust from a cell floor. Until later, then. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Keeping it together, free. Oh, 
I'll take your order if you're polite. Help. You want an engraved invitation every time? You know the way in. Quite good to see you again, Governor. Heard you're the new champion. Well done, I say. Right good to see you again, Governor. Heard you're the new champ. Impressive. Dare see the spirit of the one stronger in you than anyone else I've seen. Even Murga. What is it? I have a lot on my mind.
The lizard looks at you with undisguised fury. And then, doubt. You don't look like a magister. I've heard that a lot lately. It's always a lie. Under her breath, she encants a simple spell. No sooner does a portal open beside her than she steps into it and is gone. Too heavy. Pinched of face and stern of features, the spirit of a matronly nun eyes you gravely above her prayer beads. Welcome to the House of Relic. What brings you to my master's abode? This? This is the home of Relic on Earth. You would be wise to bow your head in his honor, as all the races should bow before his chosen ones. She nods, satisfied. The spirit of a very young nun wanders in the cloister. Seeing you, she gives you a shy smile and a bobbing curtsy. Hello. Are you lost? Are you looking for a home? Jolly nice for you, I expect. But this is a home for all who need one. Under the wing of Father Relic, all are safe. All can find comfort. All those of my kind, at least. My parents were... killed. Tragically. It was an accident. I wandered in the forests until the sisters found me. They washed my sins away. Fed me, clothed me, that's what home is. She shrugs. If you had to choose an adjective to describe that shrug of hers, the closest word you could find would be sly. Home's home. And besides, my parents are surely in the halls. By Raleigh's blessing, I remain here. I'm a wabbit. Nothing much. Gambling, munching, generally been a wabbit. The shade walks in silent meditation. With eyes closed, she gently places her feet one by one on the grass. Sensing your presence, she opens her eyes and smiles at you, serene. Blessings of the child relic upon you, my child. Here is a place of tranquility where those of faith can gather together. You are welcome to stay and walk with me should you wish it, though my vigil honors relic, who bears no tenderness towards your kind. Her thin lips press together. A fleeting look of despair crosses her wizened face, only to vanish almost instantly. I cannot read the future, child. I live still, see? How else would we be in conversation? Ralik honors his chosen. Were I dead, I would be standing by his right-hand side in the Hall of Echoes.
Best you leave the building, stranger. We have sorcerer trouble. We're trying to talk her down without a fight. It's not going well. God's damn sorcerers. A sorceress, as it happens. A master of portals. And a lizard, too. And there's naught wrong with that. Our snake-scaled sorcerer seems unable to escape. But we can't get close enough to bring her down. We chased her clear across the country, and she's left devastation in her wake. We expect a Voidwoken attack here, too, at any moment. That, or worse. Normally, we'd take her down and ship her off to the Necklace Farm. But she doesn't seem the type to go quiet, and the White Magisters aren't too happy with her. If we don't kill her, they probably will. It's do or die. Well, it's your funeral. Try not to let her use sorcery on you. I'd like to avoid having Voidwoken show up. And do watch out for the lava. That's instant death. Fury twists the sorcerer's face as she snarls at you. Get the hells away from me! She looks from you to the Magisters and back again. This is Magister trickery! You'll die for your lies! All right, here's how you help. I can hold the Magisters off, but I can't put them down. Do this for me. Kill them all. I'm a little busy here, and you're supposed to be helping. Could you get on with it, please?
wave of resentment washes from the spirit before you. An adult life spent in service is rewarded with a forgotten death out here in the middle of nowhere. Hate washes over you from the spirit. Hatred for all the world. Sorcerers, soldiers, leaders, and Lucian himself. Especially the Divine, who died and left us all alone. The Magister's spirit has the thousand-yard stare of the death shock. Well done. I am impressed. I'm also grateful. She offers you a grateful smile. She gives you a long look, considering the request. You have proven yourself a friend, at least but you must prove your heart. I'll ask one more thing of you. I left my apprentice, Gwydion Rince, at the Black Pits. He is with his family. They are in danger. Help them, and I will help you. I should be most grateful. My hero, I'm grateful. What news of Gwydion Rince? Have you found him? She arches what would be an eyebrow if lizards had eyebrows. Such a talented young sorcerer. In better times, he might have been a famous healer, a leader. 
but the Magisters have driven our kind into the shadows. Gwydion feared the great power within him. He did his best to hide it, but something so beautiful cannot stay hidden forever. A kind couple beseeched me to look after him, to teach him how to control his powers. I was happy to help, but it was never destined to last. Do you have it? Found the little corpse-related book I seek yet? Splendid!
My thanks for your help. Perhaps we will meet again in the Hall of Echo someday. Mm. I'm just going to find a place to rest. A place where I can be how I am supposed to be.